is a possible mechanism. And then I'm going to explain what you see here on the left-hand side, which basically tells you uh, if a substituent on the group causes the electrophile to be activated or deactivated, that is, um, if it causes the reaction to be uh, more favorably going forward or less favorably, and then to tell you what position the electrophile might prefer with respect to the substituent. Ortho para, ortho is this, para is here, or meta, which is here. So first let me draw this out. Let's say an electrophile is grabbed by that double bond right there. And let's say um, in our first case the electrophile goes on the ortho position. So if it's grabbed by electrophile, we're left with a plus charge right next to it. Um, and we can draw some resonance structures of this. So let's draw some resonance. You can move the double bond over. Each one keeps its position as is, but the double bond moves over. Uh, bottom double bond moves over and the plus charge goes here to that position. You can have another resonance structure. where again a double bond moves. So we'll keep the electrophile and the substituent at the same place. And you can get a plus charge right there at the top um, if this double bond moves down. And so you can see that the plus charge can move around. Now let's put the electrophile in our second case. Let's assume the electrophile goes in the para position. Okay, and we'll come back and compare these. If it goes in the para position, grabbed by this double bond, it'll leave a plus charge right here. Notice what happens in this case. The plus charge will occupy the same positions as it does in the top resonance structures. So, we'll draw, it's just the electrophiles in a different position. What does this mean? It means that the ortho and para positions are pretty similar. So here I move this double bond right there. There it is. The plus charge has to move to the top. This is kind of like this structure. Those are the plus charges in the same place right at the substituent. And then for the last possible case, here, let's move this double bond over. Oops. So we have a double bond there, and the plus charge will go here. So if I move this double bond up here to this position, I'll leave a plus charge right there. So notice in both the ortho and the para addition, this is ortho up here, this is para. Uh, the plus charge lands in those spots. Let's look at meta. Now, if the electrophile decides to go in the meta position, so the substituent's still at the top, um, and so it's grabbed by the double bond on the right, put a plus charge up here. So the double bond here, we're, in all three cases, we're starting with this initial one, electrophile being added, grabbed by this double bond, leaving a plus charge now here, you draw the different resonance structures of this out, leaving the electrophile where it is, leaving the substituent where it is, I'm just going to move around the double bonds. So if this double bond moves over here to the right one, it'll leave a plus charge right here, which you'll see in this resonance structure, and then one more. Again, electrophile and the substituent in the same place. I'm just going to move the double bond in the lower left-hand side. So in the case of the last, uh, if you take a look at this one, if I move the double bond right here, in this position, I'll leave a plus charge here at the bottom. Okay, so this last one that I just drew was meta. So the electrophile goes in the meta position with respect to the initial substituent. 
So it turns out that depending on what the substituent is, um, either meta is going to be preferred or ortho and para is going to be preferred. Ortho and para again go together because the plus charges, see this plus charge in the lower left, this plus charge in the lower right, or the plus charge in the upper uh, spot where the substituent is. Since those two plus charges occupy the same positions, ortho and para turn out to be um, uh, similar in that a particular substituent will either direct ortho para up above or will direct meta, which is the one down below. Okay. Now, what does what? All right. Well, a substituent that likes a plus charge next to it will prefer ortho para. Why would something like a plus charge next to it? Well, if it likes to donate electron density, so here, up here in these two top cases, ortho para, it needs to uh, donate uh, electron density to the ring. Uh, and if it likes to do that, it'll prefer ortho para because it can give electrons to delocalize that plus charge. However, down here, um, if it does not like to donate electron density, in fact, in all cases, it has a lone pair there. So if it likes to accept uh, electron density, you'll be a meta director. Okay? So, uh, let's kind of go through this list. This is what this list is about. The ortho pair directors are things that have lone pairs to donate to the ring. So look at the lone pair on this nitrogen or this oxygen. It can be donated to the ring, and actually it gives a fourth resonance structure here with a double bond uh, right here between the substituent and the ring. So that's especially stabilizing whenever you can add a resonance structure. Similar here in these two. However, um, the R group on the O and the carbonyl on the nitrogen like to receive electron density. So it's not as strongly what's called activating as the top group. It's not as ideal. And so it goes a little lower on the activating scale. It can still happen, uh, but just a lot less readily, or a bit less readily than the top case. But it's still ortho pair director because it can give electron density to the ring. In the third case, the next level down, uh, just any old R group, though it doesn't have electrons to give, R groups or carbons are electropositive. And so they like positive charges. Uh, so you can think of it as they receive a positive charge or they give their electron density away. Um, and so they're really good, though not as activating as something that had a lone pair sitting right there. Now, a halogen X is also ortho pair directing because it does have that lone pair there. Uh, however, in uh, what it has fighting against it is that halogens are electronegative. So electronegative elements like to pull electron density away from it. And that factor of being electronegative uh, makes it, again, less activated. And kind of here's the line where actually this bottom one of the ortho pair directing is actually slightly deactivated. I mean, just the reaction will still go, but it definitely happens less readily. Okay. Now, when you get down here to these bottom two categories, you're starting to get in the meta director stage. Why? Um, because it'll actually, could potentially have resonance not going towards the rings, but away from the ring. So it's a pulling away electron density from the ring. And so it makes, when, when these groups who like to pull electron density, it makes it really unstable to have a plus charge right here, because they'd rather have electrons there to pull into their own resonance structures that happen within the substituent. Because of that, these groups here are meta directors. They do not want a plus charge at the substituent. And then the meta directing does not put the plus charge right there. It puts the double bond always there, which makes it more satisfied. Okay? So because of that, this group here, and basically it's car it, it, it's kind of there are kind of ugly looking groups. There's carbons with nitrogens, carbons with oxygens, or sulfur there. Those are meta directors. Uh, and they have this resident structure at the bottom. And they go in the meta position with respect to the substituent. Or the worst of all, um, these nitrogens have resonance outside the ring, or a nitrogen with a plus charge. It wouldn't want to ortho pair direct because it, the me mechanism has a positive charge right here. 
or a carbon with halogens on it, say like fluorine or chlorine, those halogens, uh, similar to this one, however there's more, uh, are electronegative. They draw electron density from the ring um, and so uh, destabilize these resonance structures.